Hey guys, welcome back to Track Yards. I'm Captain Foley. And I am the other half, Commander Coggins. But unlike unlike us, the, the twin pair, one has been lost. So we're going to talk about Soji today. That's right. Today we're going to just <laughs> discuss Soji. I mean, I think we got to know Dodge better than we got to know Soji so far. Ooh, and that was all within why'd the space you say of one episode. That's interesting. Well, An interesting right she just... We got to see that she had a boyfriend, um, that she was going to the Daystrom Institute, that she was excited about such that specifically. Um, that, you know, it just feels like we got to know her more in one episode, about 40 minutes of screen time, than we have with Soji in now three episodes. Well, I'd say two, because she only showed up at the end of the first two one. Two and two minutes. We know a few things about her character, but honestly, she's not as likable, I guess, as so as uh, Dodge was. I don't know. It's 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 tough for me because I really liked Dodge, and I hope you know I wish Dodge was still around. Would you say the performance is different between the two of them, as in between the same woman playing two people? Um, I think so. I think I think Dodge came across as well, obviously more vulnerable. Yeah, well, because yeah. of the situation she was in. So I don't know. If I said more human, would that connect with you? For Dodge, yeah, yeah. I think so. And that's after after she had been activated. As yes. Well, which yeah, is I think. Interesting. I mean, Soji. Now, I I do write scripts as well to some extent, and it's very difficult when you're writing a scene that involves narrative, and characters have to talk about the narrative. Well, it's hard to create lines which feel like uniquely the character and give them character lines when it's obviously you you have to explain a story, and so the lines Soji's been given are all about the Borg, her dealing with her job. And therefore, how much of her can she put into talking about the Borg shared narrative? Like, that's not about her. That's barely about what she thinks. So, whereas Daj, it was a lot of just about her, how she responded to things. And yeah, you definitely got a better vibe of her. But Soji definitely feels more professional. But, I mean, there's nothing to really go on. Um, and they don't feel the same. So you can't even take what Daj was and put it on to Soji. Because the, the fact that one was put on Earth in a very free experience, one was this very special experience. I mean, yeah, no, I, I see what you mean there. Yeah, and I mean, it's not that Soji's unlikable. She's She is very likable. It's just... She's just part of the scenery. Yeah, yeah, and I think you're right. Because she hasn't talked about herself specifically. Even with Narek, it's just been like, hey, how's it going? Let's sleep together. Um, and, and, and very rushed as well. Him saying I love you is incredibly rushed. Um, at, as if... As if a lot of Star Trek Picard is, well, we've only got 10 episodes. We need to get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L done. And people are saying, that's a lot of plot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have a da, 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 throughout the story. And then and then you watch it, it's like, but it's been like six days. Because there's the sense that Picard, I mean, they're not, they might not be con like the same storyline. Um, although the sense you get, and please, if because someone, dis someone disagree with me in, in a video, but that Picard. You know, finds Doji, that's about two days of time. And then he goes to Starfleet. You wouldn't think he'd wait a week, so that's maybe a day later or two. And then he goes to his friend, maybe a day or two later. And you know what I mean? So this feels like it takes place within one week. And so we're doubled down because the Romulan lady goes from Earth to the Borg Cube. Again, that will take a couple of days or less. I mean, it's been about a week to two weeks maximum. Yeah, so it's kind of rushed to go from you know, sneakily, whatever, to love. And it feels very, not not necessarily contrived, just like we have to get somewhere. And I know he's manipulating her, so there is a reason for this. And I kind of hope that he doesn't fall in love with her, like is very much romulan -y. Yeah, because his, his sister says, don't fall in love. So it's kind of like a foreshadowing of he's going to and... But why? Because she sleeps I, 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 with I, I, him well? That's all, that's all we've I had guess. so far. That's all we've had. I hope that's not the case, um, for sure. But usually, when they drop a little something like that in, that's usually an indication that it's going to happen. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, sure, she talks to the 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 unnamed in their own language. She wanted to see this Ramda girl to, you know, learn about the mythology and you know structured framework to help with therapy. Um, so she's good at her job. Um, she's apparently pretty persuasive because she she finally got Hugh to actually get her that interview with Rhonda just from bugging him constantly. So it's not like she's bitchy or you know whatever. Um, she's she's, in, she's been persistent. programmed well. 
yes. to, to, to do her job. <laughs> yeah. But it would have been it would have been nice to have rather than if she's meant to be a psychologist, see her deal with an average Borg first, just like an average human, average Andorian. But going straight from she talks to someone unconscious, which you would think is not part of her job, because you can't really you know what I mean? That's not really that shouldn't be the job description, to then interviewing one of what Hugh knows is more of the crazy Borg, because I guess Romulans can't be decimated as well. There's nothing in between. And so to me, it looked kind of strange. And her idea seems somewhat flawed and du- like, I don't think all Borg are going to have, are going to agree with Romulan historical fiction. And obviously all Borg share a commonly, let's share this mythology of, ah, this sucks. You don't need to be a doctor to, th- to think that or understand that. And so you, so basing off Romulan seemed very weird. So if it was just that Romulan, that's, that, yeah. That's not what she was doing. She was trying to focus on just the Romulans for that because there was such a small group of them. It'd be easy to. But she didn't have know that. that only the the word whatever she said were Romulans. So she seemed surprised. Oh, all these Romulans. She didn't know about them properly. It wasn't for all the Borg drones. That's what I know. And uh, she also does say she was trained in. Um, she was a trained anthropo- anthropologist. Um, so not really psychiatrist, but they kind of go hand in hand in this situation, I think. But yeah, I mean, she's willing to try new techniques and things, and I think that's interesting. Now, why is she so far along compared to her sister? Because her sister was just going into the Daystrom Institute. This one's already out in the field doing their thing. Um, and if they're they're twins, they're made together. So I just find that odd. I want to know what happened there as far as where they got placed and why. So they've both benefited three years. No idea how long she's been on this cube. That could be a year, could be two, whatever. She knows the place, but also she can just access information without realizing. So therefore, she can, you know, she can just know things. So it's not it wouldn't be surprised that she could raise through the ranks because she just knows things. She was, was given access. She was hacked into access. If because everything's got to be logical and sort of relatively pre-programmed in the sense that she's got some sort of something to do. So whatever she's talking to Rhonda, because that that whole scene feels kind of like if that's the one scene to show her. That scene was just there for them to say she's a destroyer. That that's it. There's no the mythology thing isn't going to go anywhere. Of course it isn't. And it was like, well, why was that the scene you were given? Um, could have been used better, I think, to tell that story, and mean something in the grander plot. If it's just to sort of awaken her to 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 get give her a sense that she knows things. But what would be the reason in her programming to talk to Romulan and and you know I'm not wondering what that step is. Cause it was her idea. That's the thing. It wasn't like she wasn't given. That wasn't her rounds. She wanted to talk to these people. Ah, no, maybe, maybe part of it is ah, okay. Ah, I made a connection here. Cause she does know. She does know, but she didn't know she knew that Rhonda was the last people ever assimilated on this cube. And the Ramda. cube go. Ramda. Thank you, Rhonda. Well, the last people assimilated on this cube, and the cube went haywire. So maybe, even though Maddox sent her there. To find out what happened to the, the you know, to, to know stuff. Maybe the, the key to stopping X is whatever messed up the cube. And now, after, you know, years, he managed to create his androids and he sent one into the heart of it. And therefore, she does her job well. She pesters. She eventually gets access to the to one of the ones that knows. And that's because she goes straight. I mean, she doesn't skip a beat. If you, if you rewatch the scene, she's so direct, but it doesn't feel direct the first time you watch it, as you're like, oh, really? her brain is unlocking these bits of information on a path to get to the information of what happened. It's, it's a well-written scene for, like, that bit's well-written. So it must be then about what happened to the cube. Because if it can disable a cube, that's quite an effective thing. I mean, I know Ichab's family did it as well. It's not that difficult. Um, but, you know what I mean? Maybe that's the key, and maybe that's the key to stopping something else as well. Yeah, because the submatrix collapse was what she was asking about after this Romulan ship was assimilated. So that'd be interesting if that's something that Maddox needs information wise i can't see it being totally unrelated given the circumstances so that's that's interesting i never really considered that because the like i've kept i keep, I've kept telling you that there's going to be a second plot that reveals itself it's not just going to be about finding this android lady because the fact is we found her the romans have found her and they're choosing not to kill her like the, the, it can't all be about creating androids with all these other things that are being involved like don't invent a ball cube just to just a place to hang out you know what I mean? These all have to be connected, and so yeah, so so I I bet maybe I, mean, I don't want to say there's another Borg threat coming, and Maddox is the only one that can help solve it. Yeah, hopefully that isn't going to be a thing, but 
that would make sense to to link together that the, the real threat is revealed and it could link in with with Rizzo's is Rizzo what's his name the captain uh, Rios with Rios's ship going delete from the records that could have been you know maybe the, the threat killed them as well because she's there for a mission you know um, it's like maybe Daj was there to first of all get the backstory to, to to blend in as a human because she's they're not perfect they're not like they're not whatever so maybe the daystream thing was so that she could watch the progression of android tech on earth so that he's you know got a spy you know with his old team that maybe was that and then the other one is to try and get because they're doing a mission they're not just there randomly they're not you don't hide your super secret illegal operative uh, sister daughter person on Borg cube with a full romulan strike team there to wit is controlled by you know you don't you don't put them in the line of fire and now we know maddox isn't on the cube because he's in uh, free cloud so they're obviously on missions i don't think he's on free cloud i think they go to free cloud and he's not there um and that's mm. you know or he's just been taken away or something anyway that's neither yeah. here nor there um yeah what do you think about linking together like that yeah and the problem with that though is we we got the the daystream institute we got the borg cube with the the sub matrix collapse a lot of people have been calling Borg Queen. Either the Romulans are experimenting with a Borg Queen, trying to make their own Borg Queen, whatever. Um, there's a lot of weird theories like that. Or the Romulans created the Borg. That's why the Jat Vosh exists, because it backfired. And it's it's something I personally don't want to see. But I hate that with a passion. I, I know, I know, but I can see them going that way, unfortunately. with the, the... I mean, have you seen Control? The AI that was an AI came from the future for no for through a hole that no one explained... To then not be an AI, to I was become there. an AI, to kill everyone in the universe for some reason while already being an AI. I was there. I was there. I saw it firsthand. Not a good yes. plot. Not a well thought out plot. No, but I think that could be a possibility. I hope it's not, but... Because um... the thing about the Borg Queen is that it was a specific species that was chosen and then sort of augmented, taken apart so that you could store them and clone them. Like It was a, it was a, it was a race of, of creatures that could deal with everybody not every race can deal with billions of minds in your brain and that cannot be de they cannot be deconstructed so your spine is just metal like that was a specific race and soji is an android i mean sure but a borg cube has more processing power than data or an android and we know the romulans aren't behind it because they wouldn't be trying to kill and take over soji and stuff like they're unless yeah. you could say one arm of the government what the other arm's doing but the jap vash are implied to be the really the guys that are not necessarily in control but they're the ones that know more than anyone and they're not you know they're there to find out where the nest is they're not building them they're not controlling them so it's not it's not a romulan plan and i don't think maddox is trying to create a borg queen data daughter and do you really think he'd do you really think he'd want date do you really think he want to give data's spirit and her face to a new Borg Queen. Is that really what he'd want? No, I don't think so. So I can't see that linking at all. I think it's odd that it's a Borg Cube and, you know, the Jat Vash and just everything that's... All well, the puzzle pieces are there that they could arrange it into something like that, and that's kind of not good. Well, it, it it's a good kind of tissue between Borg and androids because the Borg Queen wanted Data because he was more perfect. So that does link together to some extent, you know... You can imagine they might side with an android at the end. Well, we'll we'll find out, Stuart. Uh, maybe not in season one because we know they had a multi-season arc planned. They've obviously been commissioned for season two, um, so I think we're gonna get some resolution this year, but not a lot. I'll be honest. Anyway, guys. Um, so that's our discussion on Soji, which kind of went sideways at the end there. But put your thoughts down below. What do you think about her character? And uh, we love hearing from you. So hit the like button, share the video around, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you click the notification icon. All very important. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want to support us directly, please do. We do a lot of content each and every week, uh, all free to watch, but it does need to be supported by amazing fans like you, you and you. Patreon is a great way. A little bit each and every month makes a world difference. Or join our lives every single week. Uh, you can put a dollar to have a comment read, or five dollars and a long comment and, and we always talk about whatever you you make us talk about in our super chat lives that's a great power you guys have or a one-time donation at tradecards.hotmail.com that is our paypal link it goes straight towards show costs and new equipment and again all these ways of helping for a little bit in each way comes together we can keep going and make content for you guys that's right so until next time guys i'm captain foley and i'm connor kongs bye guys see ya